All right, welcome back. This is now part four of the tutorial on making a serving tray. So we're going to take the ends now. We're going to make them higher, extrude them higher, so that we can actually put some handles in, much like this over here. All right. So to start off with, we are going to find in the timeline, if I click on this, okay, this part, you can see down here, there's the extrusion. So I'm just going to double click the extrusion, and this is down in the timeline. And I'm going to take this up, I don't know, to 3.5 inches instead. And we just click on OK, right? Now, there's my ends, right? So what we're going to do now is make a sketch to design what our handle is going to look like on the end. So create our new sketch now, get in here. Now, I've had the hidden lines turned on so you can actually see things, right? And where that is, if you don't have them turned on, is display settings, visual style, right? I can go shaded, everything disappears, but I actually want them on. So visual style and shaded with hidden edges so we can see them for this part. All right, let's start off. So we're going to do a little bit of, of uh, projected ge geometry. So what we do is we come down under create, and we go project. Okay. And what we're going to do is I want to know certain things here, right? So because I want to be able to click on certain um, lines later on. So I'm just going to click on the outside of that, not just click on the whole outside. Okay, and just click on OK, right? So now what can happen is when I go to create lines, for example, here, okay, it's going to automatically snap onto things. Now, I want a line, and I know I want a line, basically right along this one, okay? And I'm going to go, I have to go past this point here of, of half an inch, and so I'm just going to go a little bit farther, and I'm going to go 5 eighths. Okay, now why is that important? It's because when you go to extrude later, there's a 45 degree angle if I zoom, kind of move here. There's this 45 degree angle. And if I don't put a straight line here, it's going to make something look really funny in the corners when you go to um, visually see it. Okay, so we go back to my right view. So that's the first thing. Second thing is I'm going to come along the top, find my center point right there. Okay, and I'm going to draw this line farther down. Okay. Let's draw basically the outside shape now. We're going to use spline for the first time. So spline is this one. If you don't have it here, right, you come down to spline, right, and I'm going to do this uh, fit point spline. I'm going to pick three points. Point number one I'm going to pick is the end of this. Oh, how come it's just not wanting to, okay, that is not what I wanted. Let me pick it one more time. That's there. That's better. Okay, I'm going to pick there. I'm going to pick somewhere out here. Then I'm going to pick one here, and I'm finally going to pick that end point there. Okay, so there, and then I'm going to hit a check mark to be done. Now, I don't think I want it to drip, droop down, so all I do now is I can move these. Whoops, got to hit escape now. I can move these to actually be what I want to do. So I'm going to start off with, it's going to be pretty straight coming out of there, and maybe I want it to be a bit closer, okay? It's up to you. You can kind of play a bit, so you can see that so far what it is. Okay, up here, I'm going to click back on this, and I'm going to pull it a bit more. And when I click, I also want it to not be straight up here. So if I actually pick this one. You can't, you don't want like this because you can have a point at the top of your project. So I'm going to kind of have it come out a bit more, like that. Okay, and I'm going to pick this one and maybe come down a bit, and maybe this one's going to come up a bit. No, I don't like that. Right, so we're going to play a bit here. Right? Sometimes if you don't like, like I don't like that at all now, control Z it, control Z back a few times. I actually like that one right there. Okay. So maybe what I'll do on this is I'll pull this along and I'll pull this along and you kind of get the idea now, okay, what you want to do. So there is my shape to my, um, where my handle is going to go. Now I got to put the handle part in. How do I do that? Well, I draw a circle. And I'm just going to draw a circle here, minimum one inch. So I'm going to make mine an inch because you got your hands through it. And I'm going to create a line that goes from the top of this. It'll show you where it snaps into place. Okay. So basically right at the top. I'm going to come along and go a straight line across to there. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. Pick my line, go across. Okay. And then I trim, T for trim. Cut that out. So there's my partial handle. Now I don't yeah, okay, we'll see what it's going to look like. So there's my shape, there's my handle, and we've only done half of it because we're going to mirror it. So we come up to mirror, and I pick my parts, 
that I want. All this stuff, all this. I also got to pick this line right here. Okay. And that's my half. And then I pick my mirror line, which is this. And I click OK. And there we go. Now, there's so many constraints in there. I'm going to visually come up here. I'm going to expand this, take my constraints off, and you can now see where I'm at. Now, you have one of two choices. One, you just have to extrude two of those things, or you can delete the line. I'm going to leave the line. It's no big deal. We finish the sketch. We go on a 45 here, a bit of an angle. We go to extrude, and we pick our pieces that we're going to extrude, and we're going to cut through half an inch. So I'm just going to go like that and click OK. So there we go. We now have our handles of our project, right? And I think we're going to stop there and we'll finish off um, in the next tutorial, right? So that concludes it. Make sure you save it as usual. Save it. OK. And if you're not sure what's happening right now, I'm going to expand my um, uh, my data or my uh, data panel, and you can see somewhere down in here, serving tray. I think I called it V1. There we are, and we're on version three of it already. Okay, so I'm going to hide that and end our tutorial now.